shout out to Ice Cube <clears throat> for being a legend in the game, for giving a lot of people opportunities to go on and better their life. I want to start this video off by singing shout out to Ice Cube. Now, if you haven't seen what's been going on in the news, Phase on Love is telling the internet world that he was underpaid for the hit movie Friday. <clears throat> and I'm so glad that Ice Cube is not one of these people who just let people go on and talk and talk and talk without him clearing the air. Ice Cube comes straight to the air and says, you only worked for two days. You only worked for two days. Someone, please tell me where you can work for two days legally and make $2,500 cash. As a dream chaser and being an entrepreneur, sometimes you have to realize everything you do is not about money. You have to realize that when you are placed in a certain position and people are giving you an opportunity, the opportunity can will outweigh the 2500 that you made. The opportunity can outweigh the money that you made. Phase on love. Who was you before Friday? Nobody. Nobody. Let's keep it 100 right here. None of those actors were really nobody before the movie Friday. Not only did Ice Cube say, I paid the actors in that movie scale pay. They could have simply said no and kept it moving. But no, they chose to do it. You know, I never see white actors bashing the directors or the people who made the movie. I don't see Asians. I don't see Arabics. I do not see these people bashing people who are giving them an opportunity to go on and better their life and create a career. Ice Cube created a lot of careers with that movie Friday. Smokey, Chris Tucker went on to do great things, went on to make great movies. You get what I'm saying? And that's, that's only one of them. But they all went on to have a career that last 20, 20 years, 30 years. They was able to, to provide and take care of their family the non-traditional way. They didn't have to go to work at Walmart, Kroger's, McDonald's. Not saying anything's wrong with those jobs. I'm saying that they was put in a position and they got the opportunity to better their life. But you only see ungrateful blacks hating on on another black and trying to make it seem as if these people have wronged them when they gave you the best opportunity that anybody has ever gave you in your life. Shout out to Ice Cube, man, for clearing the air, man, and letting everybody know, bro, you work for two days. You wasn't even the main actor. You you really an extra for real with a little bitty part. And you try to make it seem as if somebody has wronged you or somebody has done something to you. Business is business. I gave you the opportunity. Um, um, you had a you had a nice successful career. It's cool. Shout out to Ice Cube. Stop being so mad all the time. How about you learn what you seen Ice Cube do and then you go do it. A lot of people like Big Worm in that movie. He could have did a spinoff. He could have went and wrote his own movie. And then brought it to Ice Cube and said, hey man, you know, what you think about this script? But now, nah, as grown man, we still want to sit back and make it seem as if Somebody is bothering us and somebody is doing something to us instead of getting instead of saying, I love you, brother. I appreciate you, brother. And thank you for the opportunity that you gave me. You saved my life. Facts.
So y'all drop y'all comment. Y'all let us know how y'all feel about it. Do y'all feel Ice Cube was right? Do y'all feel he was wrong? Do you feel Faison Love is right? Do you feel that he's wrong? Drop a comment. Let us know. If somebody give you opportunity, take the opportunity. Respect it. And run your checkup. I love y'all.